Okay guys, so in this video, we're going to be setting the distributor on this 1993 Chevy 1500 with a 4.3 liter Vortec engine. So the problem is this truck is running kind of rough, so what we're going to be doing in this video is making sure the distributor is set right, as well as checking the spark plug gaps, just because we're going to be, I'm going to show you how to check for top dead center and to do all that stuff. What we're going to start by doing is by setting the truck to top dead center. To find top dead center, there's a couple things you can do. There's a couple of ways you can find top dead center. One of the ways is by removing the spark plugs and feeling for when cylinder number one is pushing out pressure. Cylinder number one is this cylinder right here. So what I'm going to do is pull out the spark plug. I'm going to pull out all the spark plugs, but I'm only going to show you me pulling out this spark plug just to save time. By the way, it's a 5 8 socket. Okay, so here's spark plug number one. It's covered in some, it's covered in oil, I think that is. Yeah. It's pretty black, so I'm going to need to look at it. So I'm going to remove the rest of the spark plugs and I'll be back. So spark plugs out. Now, the downside of this thing is that you somehow have to get into cylinder number one put something up by cylinder number one and I find it easier if you turn it right here you took all the spark plugs out so the engine is way easier to turn over like literally and the engine is turning over right now because there's no there's no resistance so basically what you do you put your fingers in and wait until you feel pressure as soon as you feel pressure you look at the timing marks which are on the harmonic balancer I'm actually going to show you them later you look after those and you know you're about there so I'm gonna I'm gonna set the camera up so you can see the timing marks and I'm gonna tell you when I can feel the top dead center coming up okay, so here we go we're gonna start turning it over if you see a little pit white mark that's my one of the marks but I don't feel pressure coming out so I know it's not top dead center yet Okay, I feel pressure coming up. And there we go, second mark. And I'm going to line it right with the lower part of the marker. There we go. I'm going to show you in a quick sec what that looks like. It's lined up. There, go. there you go. It's lined up right with this metal thing right here. There's a metal thing right there. It lines up perfectly with the lower part. And that's top dead center right there. And I'm going to show you the other way. The second way to find it is by removing the um, valve cover. Got valve cover. You're going to find the second way under there. So what I'm going to do is remove these three bolts. They are half inch. Next, we're going to remove this thing right here. Now we're just going to pick up the, the cover. You might need to move this hose a little bit. I unscrewed a bolt on the other side a while back and sort of didn't put it back. But just in case it doesn't come out, that's the thing to look for. And now what we got to do is just move a few things around to make space for it. And there we go. Okay, so now basically the procedure is similar. What you're going to do is just literally just turn this thing over and you're going to watch these two arms right here. You're going to make sure both of them are closed. And as you can see right now, both of them look closed. This one's open slightly, that one's open slightly, but these two are closed. But I'm going to show you that how, how it looks here in a second. Okay. I'm going to start turning it over again at the, at the alternator right here. And you're just going to, I'll sh tell you when they start moving. Cylinder one, if you watch this thing right here, it's moving. It's closing. Okay, it's closed. Now here comes the second one. It's coming up. Okay, now it's closed. Now you watch the timing marks. Here's the first one. And we're going to get it to the second one. And there we go. Both of these are closed, and I have the marks aligned. So now we know we're at top dead center. Next thing we want to do is adjust the distributor. 
So I'm going to be joining you inside the engine bay. What we're going to do now is remove this cover right here. I'm going to point out right now that cylinder number one is right here. It's the very one in front. So what we're going to do is unscrew two bolts right here. Both of these are 730, 732, I think. I'm going to make sure both of them are off. If we remove the top. Okay, and now what you want to look is where is this little thing pointing? Where is the runner pointing? You don't necessarily have to point it at cylinder number one, but people like to have it pointing there. Where, where you, The most important thing is that you have it aligned with the spark plug number one, which is what I have right about there. It's pointing, if it, this is spark plug number one up here, and if you look at it, it's literally almost almost perfectly on but say you say it wasn't perfect say it was on or it was off actually several things you can do because you have this cap you can get away with not having to pull away this pull off the distributor several things you can do you can rewire the wires spark plug wires you can rewire those to make the adjustment you can using a 14 millimeter I, I choose to use one of these it's got a little flexible head and it's ratchet you can unscrew this bolt right here the clamp bolt and adjust it as much as you need to turn it as much as you need to to have it aligned with cylinder number one with spark plug wire number one for the oil pump, it's not that big of a deal. As long as you have this guy set to cylinder number one, as long as you have it set to cylinder number one, and this guy's pointing right at cylinder number one, it's aligned with the spark plug wire that's pointing to cylinder one, you're fine. You don't have to have the oil thing aligned. You just put it in place, you can just screw this back on, and then you just turn the engine over until it pops in. Just hold it down on top a little bit, turn it over, and it'll pop in. But since we see that everything is fine here, we're going to bolt it all down. Make sure that you have the distributor cap on right. I screwed on one side, but the other side wasn't on. There we go. And there we go. It's on. What I'm going to do is really quickly, I'm going to loosen the 14 millimeter bolt because I'm going to be also adjusting the timing. I'm going to show you how to do that too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put the cover back on, put the spark plugs back in, make sure they're gapped correctly. But in case you're wondering, the spark plug gap should be 0 0.045. I'm going to get all that done and we'll get to the timing. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have my timing light connected. It's connected to spark plug number one. I have the connector right there, my timing light right here. So what you want to do to properly set the timing on ignition timing is unplug this wire right here. It's, it's a tan wire with a black stripe. You want to unplug this wire. I got that unplugged. Now we're going to go to the other side. Important thing to point out, I have the truck set up almost as if it's going to run. I have the air cleaner on, I have coolant, I have everything. Everything is set up almost as if it's going to run. So what I'm going to do now is start the truck and we're going to start turning the distributor until I get the timing mark to uh, to the zero. You know it's the zero when it's at the lowest point. Okay, so what you should have seen is that we got the mark perfectly lined up. It is perfectly where it's supposed to be. So what we are going to do now is plug in the tan wire. 